Today we're testing out Filament from Printbed. This is a company I found on an Instagram ad and it looked too good to be true. I thought, let me try it out and let you guys know whether I like it or not. This is not sponsored, they didn't send me this. I bought this myself, so I will let you know if I think it's worth it. And I think the big test at the end of this video is whether I will be ordering more print bed filament or if not. So there's some pretty big things about this company that sets them apart from a bunch of other filament companies out there. And their big one is $5 overnight shipping anywhere in the US, or at least I think continental US. So if you're in the US, this is a company to look out for. If you're outside of the US, I don't know if they ship internationally. So this might not be an option for people outside of the US. Sorry about that. Hopefully I'll test out more filament companies in the future. The second big thing I really liked about this company is that their colors actually have a color rating on there. And they measure, it, it says they measure every single inch of the filament to make sure it's the exact same color throughout. I think that's really cool and it's really cool they're able to stand by their color with a real color value of all their different filaments. They also say they measure their filament with three axes of measurement instead of a, they say other companies only use two axes. I'm not sure about that. We'll test and make sure it's good, accurate filament. But a lot of different filaments from cheaper brands are getting pretty good nowadays. So accuracy, for me, I don't think is as big of a deal. They also use new cardboard spools, which I really like. It's just something you can recycle at the end instead of these plastic ones, which you cannot recycle. So now let's get it open. I've got two spools here. The first color I picked was Baja Blue. I saw it and I had to try it out. It's very similar to this Paramount 3D's mid-century teal color that I use on a lot of my videos. So I was really looking for a company that sold a color like this, but in a cardboard spool instead of these plastic spools and a little bit cheaper. The second spool here will be a mystery spool. I'm super intrigued by this. They have an option to buy a mystery spool of filament and I'm pretty sure the mystery spool is a test filament that they're not fully done with yet, but you can buy it under a mystery spool. So you're not sure what you're gonna get. It's kind of a big mystery. And they, and this is how the, I mean, this is how the packaging came and it was delivered next day. I ordered it at about three o'clock on a Thursday and then by I think 1.30 the next day, it arrived on the doorstep. So I was super impressed, kind of blown away. So nice little unboxing here. That's a fun little, fun little graphic here. I think they sell this as a poster if you're interested in that. Baja Blue, they give you your temperature, you should print it at. It is a bit more blue and less green than this mid-century teal. So we'll see if I like it. Other things inside the box, there's a card, various links to their website, their Discord. Ooh, that's cool. It's like a little trading card for your filament. And then some really nice stickers, like a lot of stickers for a single spool of filament. And it looks like they're doing a giveaway if you collect five different trading cards and tag them in a picture on Instagram, you'll get a free mystery spool of filament. In the bottom down here is a pretty big little booklet. Ah, see, they do sell it. They give you a poster. Uh, this is kind of the graphic on the side of the spool. Just a big ad on the back. So pretty cool. Cardboard box. Can easily recycle all of this. So that's really nice. Now on to the mystery box. I'm pretty intrigued by this one to see kind of what came in the box. So it's kind of a, it looks like a transparent orange color we've got in there. We've got to get them out. I'm gonna to have to do some printing tests on this before the video's over. Uh, it does say mystery filament has a wider range of printing. So on the Baja Blue, it says exactly 200 Celsius, but on this one, it says between 190 and 230. And inside of the mystery box, we've got the yellow trading card and a regular trading card. Or this one is the explaining the deal of if you can collect all five, you get a free spool of filament. That's really cool. And I did not see that anywhere else on their website. So now I got blue and yellow, three more to go till I get a free spool of filament. So now all I got to do is open these up, get them testing and see how well they print. So for opening this, there's a sticker that says peel here. And then that pulls up exactly the start of the spool. This is really well wound. Cardboard sleeve, I mean, I love the cardboard sleeves. We're gonna do the printing on this Artillery Hornet here because it's so easy to print with. I was just so blown away with how good it was. 
for the price if you haven't seen that review. Here are my example models I printed out. This one I printed at 200 Celsius. It's got a little bit of shine, but not nearly as much as this one I printed at 210 Celsius and it's got a lot of shine to it. I found that to be true with most filaments that if you print a little bit warmer, you get a little more shine to it. A little cooler gives you more of a matte finish to it. Overall, a really cool filament. The teal, on the other hand, was not my favorite. Kind of just a more generic teal than I was hoping. I was hoping for more of a dark teal like this one. This is Paramount 3D's mid-century teal. It's very close to Makita teal, and I really like that color. This is more of a lighter blue. Still looks pretty good. Wasn't exactly what I was hoping for, so I don't think it'll be a replacement for me since I still really like this teal color. But not a bad color in its own right. The prints did turn out really good, so the filament is working very well. So now we're back after a day of printing and then I think it comes down to a question of would I recommend these? I think it's kind of a binary pass-fail grade you have to give filament because a lot of filament is good. It's not like a printer with so many different parts I can actually give a 1 to 100 type grade. And I give this one a pass. I think it does all of the things it says it's going to do well. It has very accurate filament, good color, consistent color filament. Next day delivery worked. I was so amazed by how, and I'm not sure the business side of how they're even able to do that. But when it comes to the downsides of this company, I would say they only have PLA. The color selection, since it's a smaller company, they don't have a ton of colors. They do have some really good colors and they keep coming out with new ones and some new mystery spools that you never know what you're going to get. I got this cool transparent orange that's not even an option on their website. Another downside to this company is it's not free shipping. It is $5 shipping for any order. So if you're buying one spool of filament, that single spool is going to cost you $25. If you buy two at once, that cuts that shipping cost per spool in half. So if you buy five or ten spools at once, that $5 shipping cost is way cheaper per spool. So that is something to consider when it comes to the price of these spools of filament. And now we can circle back to my original question of will I order print bed filament again? And yes, I will be ordering print bed filament again. Not right now, I've got two brand new spools of filament to work through. I don't like having a ton of filament laying around, so I'll usually work through my supply before I stock up on any more. But anyway, I hope this can be a simple review saying, yes, PrintBed is a legit company doing legit things. I saw them anytime I see an Instagram ad, I'm always a little skeptical about those bold claims they're making. But they were able to fulfill it here, and they don't know I'm making this review at all, so I didn't get any special treatment or special priority delivery time. If you have any more questions, let me know in the comments down below, or any tests you would love to see on new spools of filament that I test out around here. As always, if you've stuck through and enjoyed this video, hitting that like and subscribe button down below really helps me out. Go out there, create something amazing today, and I'll see you in the next video.